Yo! Yeah, not that excited to do this video, to be quite honest with you. Uh, this morning I went scouting. We got clients coming in Saturday. We're hunting again Sunday. Uh, but y'all know Fred has been limping a lot. I've been showing you on the videos and now it's gotten so bad that we haven't hunted him. Uh, I haven't hunted him in the last probably two weeks because it's just progressed so badly so um i figured that he hurt hurt something i i don't know what's going on yet all i know is i went scouting this morning beth uh took him to the doctor you'll see all of Beth's footage here in a minute um i never expect the worst i guess but i will say uh, i just got off the phone with beth and she just pulled up and I know my if I know my wife the sound in her voice her being a nurse practitioner basically a doctor right underneath a doctor uh, she's not happy so I don't know what to expect let's uh let's watch let's watch best footage I haven't even seen it she took him to the hospital and uh, then we'll uh, we'll talk Doctor for, for Freddy boy. Are you ready, Frederick? Fred? What are we doing, bud? He's like, I don't know what we're doing, but I don't like it. He's just not sure. Freddy's here to go to the vet. Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna figure out what's wrong with him, huh? Yeah. Poor boy. Also, he needs updated on his shots, so he's gonna get his shots. He's gonna get all the things. But, as you probably heard Bob say, um, he's had this limp going on, and whenever you mess with his, what would it be, his left hip, if you rotate it up and kind of around, he winces. I mean, he does not like it very much. So we're going to figure out what's going on with the Freddy boy. Huh, Bodie? You ready to take him in? Okay. You ready, Frederick? What do you think, bud? I know. You're the best boy ever. But he didn't want to yeah. leave. But he didn't want to We all love him so much. We just want him to be, to be okay and to get out and be able to hunt and do what he loves. Because he misses it for sure. All right. What do you think, bud? Not too excited, huh? It'd be okay. We're gonna get a couple shots. They're gonna have to figure out what's going on. And Fred, when you get done, you got that little sticker. I'm gonna get a sticker, Freddy. You wanna go get a puppuccino when you're done? Aw. Bob, why are you making me take him? <laughs> Poor guy. Tis with. Yep, you can hold it. But right here. Whoa. Right here. Right. He smells okay, all sorts of stuff. Whoa. Hey, Tell me a little bit about what you're seeing, I guess, or what's uh, going on with him. So, I guess it was the... And we will see if we can find some answers. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, Freddie. Right, you're going to have to go with him, bud. What's the matter? I'm not with Fred. I know. We had to leave him here, didn't we? Here, get in the car and we can, we can talk about it, okay? Okay. Well, so we took Fred in. Bodie's pretty sad because we had to leave him there. Um, took him in. The doctor was trying to do his assessment. They had him run. Well, they had him walk first back and forth. And you really can't tell the limp <clears throat> is happening unless he's running. So 
then the assistant kind of helped him run and then he was able to see the limb. Well, he kind of asked the history what was going on. Well, I think if I remember Bobby's story right, he was actually jumping either down from a trailer um, over the summer and he noticed at that time that he had hit like his back hip. Um, but he really, I didn't notice anything with him until um, about, I would say two to three weeks ago when he really started limping and almost favoring it. I got a phone call in the middle of the video. Um, it's almost like he's limping on his front paw and like that's where he's giving or you know like um, not giving what do I want to say almost like he's guarding it in some way um, and when he was running the doctor said that he noticed his stance was just super wide and almost like he almost like a protective way of like you know he's hurt in some way and so then his his run is even affected um, so the doctor tried to do his assessment. Fred is just so muscly and strong. He said that he wasn't even able to do it. Um, I kind of showed him where I've seen Fred wince. And so I've just kind of rotated Fred's hip and he was able to see it that way, how guarded Fred was with it. Um, so the doctor, we had to sign a consent. Fred has to stay there. They're gonna give him some anesthesia um, and they're gonna put him under so that he can do his assessment and so that they can do some x-rays and some scans and stuff. So that's the update on Freddy boy. We had to leave him there, but he was real sad. Fred wasn't so sure himself either. So yeah, when they call us, we can give you an update about, about Freddy boy. So hopefully he's okay. Fred was just like, what is this place? What's going on? There's so many new smells. <laughs> Poor boy. What's the matter, Bodie? I just want to feel sad. You miss Fred really bad. He's going to be okay. You know what? Okay. He just has to go to the doctor and they got to help him go to sleep so they can take some pictures of his bones and of his legs or he's hurt, okay? No, they're not going to rip his skin off. They're just going to make him go to sleep and then they're going to take a picture. And then he's going to wake up and we're going to go get him. Okay? So we don't have to be sad. Okay? All right. Hugely, very bigly failing at setting that up. Oh my goodness. Um, we get to go pick up Frederick. The vet called and said he's up and walking around. So we can pick him up now. It's a little before two, so that worked out good. Um, I know that dogs can live with hip dysplasia, so that's something that, you know, I'm just trying to keep my mind on and stay positive about. Um, it's not always just a death sentence necessarily, but it's just, like I said, was just kind of alarming that really it's been a change in him in the past two to three weeks so I'm just anxious to talk with the vet and see the x-rays um, and just see what it looks like and then hopefully just monitor going forward so we're headed to get him now I'm ready to squeeze him and take him home and just snuggle him no matter what happens to just love him and he's gonna be our pet you know so yeah we just love our Freddy boy We'll show you. Okay. okay. Tell me when you're ready. Yep, go ahead. Basically, these are a set of Fred's x rays as we look at the head up here, tail down here okay. as we're shooting right through the pelvis area. And okay. that's what we wanted to kind of look at a little bit. And so we're looking at these two joints right side over here, left side over here. Um, normally, we see in the hip joint, we have a nice ball and socket joint that fits and, and glides really good right and the defects that I see with Fred first of all is you can see it's kind of squared off here right. uh, and so instead of being nice and round uh, and so it's squared off the other thing that we see is when we have the femoral head we have a femoral neck which is kind of like an hourglass figure uh -huh. we do and you can see his is just squared off on the way here Interesting. the right side isn't much better yeah uh, you know, it's pretty squared off as well, and we have no neck either, and so it's kind of just a square. Okay. Um, and if you really look hard as we blow this up, 
you can kind of see proliferation here. This is kind of where joint capsule comes right in this area here. And so we've got some thickness around the joint capsule again. And okay. as we see that thickness, it, it reduces our mobility. And so okay. he becomes a heck of a lot less athletic. And so wow. he's kind of got, you know, he can't run and jump and deal. It's just kind of short yeah. stepping. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, I noticed I, you know, when we were walking, he had the wide stance. And so right. those, those joint capsules were getting stretched. And so his legs kind of go outwards a little bit and then he kind of wobbles like a duck, oh, wow. you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And so there are some significant things as we see this. And then unfortunately with this condition at such a young age, um, this is probably a condition we called uh, hip dysplasia, which mm -hmm. is kind of a genetic predisposition for arthritis. So it's a degenerative joint disease that continues to get worse with time and age. Okay. Um, and so we'll see that. I think Sarah, pull up another one here. And I'm going to show you what a, we do a lot of OFA x-rays, you know, for breeding animals and stuff like that. And yeah. so we, we're going to show you a, a couple of sets of something that, that would be what they would look like if they were good. Okay. So you said those bones and the, the ball and the joint there, that should be rounded. And that should be a nice round. And so it just glides So is that genetic forth. alone, the, the fact that it's... Yeah. And that's just, again, back to, uh, again, it, yeah, genetic predisposition that called hip dysplasia okay. and it's kind of a big ten dollar word for arthritis it'd be like right. you and i getting um rheumatoid arthritis you know again it's genetically uh -huh. predisposed you to wear those joints down or have inflammation right. within those joints early you can kind of see the rounded edges here a little bit more on a set of x-rays like uh, this uh, definitely. you know and then we also have that little dip or little hourglass figure right. type of thing and so again and, and i guess the other thing i didn't show you how close it is here, it sits in a groove, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, That's where his, difference. when I had him sedated, I could subluxate that, really? and I could, you know, as we rotated, and that's what I talked, when I had him sedated, I can do the full range of motion, and, right. you know, if I get 180 degrees on a normal dog, you know, he's a fraction of that, Okay. just because, again, we got this whole joint capsule getting inflamed and thickened, and so it reduces his lanes, but then as I did what you did in the room, it just yeah, opened you up. can hear clicking and clacking okay. and crunchy and grindy and uh -huh. so I could hear some crepitation within there and that just again tells me we have the laxity which is part of the the process of mm -hmm. degeneration or the di dysplasia process and okay. so anyway so anyway so that's kind of what we're looking for this nice rounded we look hourglass and then again no real fuzziness and stuff here and so yeah. again this is you know most of these OFA x-rays we take are they have to be at least two years old you know, oh, really? breeding ages to do it. And so this would be pretty similar to, to, Fred's, to Fred's, at. Fred's at as far mm -hmm. as comparison. That's why I wanted to see that a little bit. So um, anyway, so, so that's kind of, but I think that's what mm -hmm. he's got. And so okay. what we did. Frederick. Hey, buddy. Freddy. Fred. Hi, sweetie. Oh, everyone's so worried about you, Bob. You feeling okay? He's a little friend guy. It says it's so cute. Well, we just picked him up. He is so sweet. Everyone there just loved him. Um, I have to thank Dr. Dick so much because he let me film while he was explaining um, the X-rays and stuff with Fred. So really, he sounded pretty hopeful. Um, the medication can be adjusted quite a bit to what he needs every day just depending on his symptoms and once um, the glucosamine and stuff builds, builds up in his system then he shouldn't need so much of the it's like a prescription um, aspirin for dogs so it's called Remedil um, pretty big little capsules there so Freddy boy is gonna be taking some medication every day he is so sweet he's just the best dog like that's what I think broke my heart more than anything because he's he's truly the greatest dog you would ever want anything you would ever want in a dog we got in Freddy so you know we'll take him as he is that's for sure um he did say you know I kind of asked about quality of life and things like that um and he did say that you know, if you're 
He's setting off the seatbelt alarm because he's so big. <laughs> Buckle up, Freddy. Um, he did say, you know, quality of life. If you're expecting him to hunt every day and be able to jump up on things or swim through water or, you know, retrieve all these birds, then he's probably going to be pretty miserable if he has to do that multiple times a week. Um, so, you know, that's definitely a change for, for Bob and Fred. Something that we're going to have to get used to. But he, he said, you know, if he's just a family dog laying around, um, you know, with the kids and kids are jumping on him, then he can probably live a really long, um, healthy life. So we're really hopeful. I need to call Bob. So I feel much better with that news after talking to um, the doctor. He was just really hopeful and um, we're going to follow up in a month with maybe repeat x-rays in a few months and just see what it looks like. Um, he also said that there's options. We're kind of at like the first tier for medication. Um, for medication options. So he said that we can only go, you know, up from here if we feel like he's not responding well clinically, um, then he can adjust or add or change medication. So. What are you doing, bub? Huh? Bye and dust. You go, this is what you've been doing. You've been snooping. This is what I found him with earlier. Cookie icing? Really? Is it good? No, you can't just go grabbing that, man. You're going to get a toothache. Mom, where are you at? So I told you. Hip dysplasia. So, so that is that is a genetic thing. It, they said it could be genetic, could be from either like certain positions or too much exercise, obesity, too little exercise, but most common cause is genetic. So it's a progressive. It's a progressive thing. It can be treated though with, you know, supplements and um, so it can be treated with supplements and like glucosamine um, and anti-inflammatory medication. Um, and you know, a lot of times dogs can lead a full life if it's found or um, diagnosed. But with Fred being only two years old, it's like, why is it happening when he's so young and you've really noticed a change in three weeks? Is it very progressive? How fast is it progressing? Um, it can really just decrease quality of life. And if it's not treated, you know, eventually they're to the point where they can't even walk. They can't hold up their hind end. So it's definitely important that he be, is treated and we do what we can. Hmm. I guess, first of all, no, I mean, I, 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 there's probably a lot of you that have dealt with this firsthand. And I would really, 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 really greatly appreciate uh, just your opinions down low. Your honest advice. You don't have, it doesn't have to be positive. It can be very, very, very um, honest. And I, and I really ask, if you do drop a comment, please, please help. Uh, do you... Now the doctor said, you know, if he's on uh, medication and you're treating it that he can hunt. Yeah. Um, now, to what extent, you know? So it was very much a thing of you are the dog owner. You are the one that is assessing, you know, every day. You see how he's doing today. How's he feeling? Does he have a lump today? Does he act like, is he, guarding his rear end you know as he mm -hmm. seemed to be walking differently the big thing that he noticed initially before even doing scans for anything was the way that fred ran it was just very yeah he's had his legs his, out far apart and he's like that's really odd for a, a two-year-old dog he's pretty young he goes it's pretty odd for a young dog to be so guarded with even his run yeah so he's like just make you know it's something that if you do like take him hunting this weekend say because you know the vet was very aware that He's a working dog, but he goes, it's just something that you may need to load him up the day before the day of and the day after with Jeez. medications. And I if remember. he wakes up in the morning and he's really slow getting up, then maybe you don't take him hunting that day. You know, just kind of gauge it to how Fred he's feels. He's only two. Yeah. 
Mom, he's man, only man, two. Man, yeah, it's like you even compared it to Jax. You're like, well, yeah, like, like Jax. Jax. I'm like, yeah, but Jax is ten. ten. Yeah, he's ten, and he still runs and crazy. He's obese. Like he has all those risk factors. He's obese. He doesn't exercise much, so he is very <clears> likely to develop hip dysplasia. Whereas Fred's too very athletic yes. in shape. Yeah, so like we've he seen a change with Jax when he was probably like eight or yeah. like two years ago. That's when we saw Jax, our, <clears throat> our little black pit bull. Uh, that's when he really started. But that's at eight. Even if he had, like you're saying, if, even if he does have arthritis, which I'm sure he does in his back hips, he acquired it with age. Fred is only two years old. He's only had... Once one one full year of, of actually hunting. Oh, feels like my yeah, stomach like just my fell out of my out. body. I know it's like it would be better news if it were just like a. <sighs> Seems like always um, in times where you know I get bad news. <clears throat> It always takes a minute for it to kind of soak in and and a lot of things don't really bother me, you know. Um, I can get over things quickly. I've always had that ability, but uh, really, really, really hurts my heart. Um, when I uh, <clears throat> when I got Fred, I was kind of <clears throat> I was originally like. I don't know about being a dog owner, especially, you know, a working dog like Fred. I didn't know if I'd have the time, you know. And, uh, <clears throat> I quickly learned from friends telling me and then all you guys on this channel, all you guys. When I, before I got Fred, you all were like, Bob, get a dog, get a dog. And you're like, <clears throat> everybody said that uh, with having a, a lab hunting dog, whether it's an upland dog or a waterfowl dog, just a, uh, a buddy like that. <clears throat> I never, um, I didn't really believe y'all. I didn't believe my buddies. I'm like, oh, whatever. You know, it'll be good for the videos. <clears throat> Little did I know how attached I'd get to Fred. You know, he, uh, he sleeps beside my bed every night. He's in the truck every single day. And um, he's became literally my best friend, you know, him, him and Bodie <clears throat> and, and Harper. My kids and my dogs, they're my best friends, and especially Fred. <clears throat> okay, enough of that. Enough, enough, Bob. So what uh, what tears me up the most is uh, Fred's not dying right now, you know. Um, his life <clears throat> could quite possibly be shortened by this. Um, second of all, he's only two. He's had one full hunting season on him where for the training he had from me and the knowledge I had he did amazing um, hip dysplasia is a genetic thing um, you I'm sh I am a hundred percent positive that there are many of you on this channel watching right now that that have done this that have dealt with it and probably unfortunately lost your dog to it now I know Fred could still live to 10 years old, you know, you, you never know. He could live till seven, eight, like, like normal or, but what I'm tore up the most about is, uh, this is obviously the biggest season of the channel where we got the lodge running. And uh, I, as you all can imagine, I've been extremely pumped up to have Archer, Gerald's dog and Fred in the field working together, you know, and, and um, we did a lot of training this summer. Uh, he was with Charlie at Sand Hill Retrievers all summer. Um, you all seen those videos. And um, and now, I guess what's on my mind most, you know, it's treatable. So he'll get painkillers, anti-inflammatory. 
Um, he can still hunt with treated with been, with it being treated, uh, but like Beth was saying, the doctor was like, you know, it's really under discretion of the owner, me, by just knowing where Fred is all the time, how bad he's hurting, and you know, what hurts my heart even more is like, he, when he started limping, probably he just started limping within the last oh two months you know just and it's kind of he limped bad and then it kind of went away and then um it started up really bad two two weeks ago kind of when we were you know when drew got in town and uh, everybody that came over was like dude what's wrong with fred what's everybody everybody th th what's wrong with fred and i'm like I don't know. If we, you, know, you need to get him in, and here we are. My dog is two years old, has hip dysplasia, and arthritis already. So we're gonna have to treat it. And um, again, please, if you have any information about this, that will be helpful. You know, maybe uh, you guys have done it. Maybe you had a dog at two years old. Uh, get it very active hunting how much did you hunt him how much um did it hurt hurt him is exercise i'm sure exercise is still necessary because you don't want him to become a lump on a log and start gaining weight and uh that's obviously not good for his joints as well so how much exercise is too much or too little if you have any information on that stuff please drop a comment down below uh, maybe some maybe some techniques you guys used uh, but this is not an exciting video. I didn't want to, I knew when my wife called me, I'm like, oh, this morning when I was scouting, she was like, hey, do you want me to film? Do you want me to film the, the whole doctor appointment? And you guys down in the comments on the last video were already like, hey, I hope Fred's okay. I've read it a bunch already and thank you guys. But I was like, yeah, yeah, film it because I, you know, everybody i want to know all you guys wanted to know and i just figured that it was either it's it's not an acute injury it's not a sprain it's not a tear it's not a break it's not it's not anything like that it is a long-term thing you know it's kind of like you know um any of us getting you know something deriving something very bad at a at a young age you know, whether it's cancer or um, anything that's going to be progressive. Now, progressive, again, I know I'm blabbing here, uh, but progressive, Beth, you know, really put that in my head. She was like, yes, he's going to be affected from now on. Yes, you're, we're going to have to deal with it. Yes, we're going to have to manage it, but he's not, he, she, she looked at me and said, he's not dying, Bobby. He's, he's going to be limited, and that hurts me because we just have... So much opportunity for for Fred to um, live an awesome life, especially with he's got new dog friends here now with Gerald and Drew here all the time, and uh, in the field, you know, we'll do what we can. But thank you all for being here. I don't. I'm not going to drag this out any longer. Actually, well. It's uh, the next day. Um, just spent all day yesterday with Fred. Had to stop recording for a little bit, get my mind right. And uh, just had to uh, understand that it, it's all going to be okay. Fred, we'll deal with this together. But he's still young. He still has some good years to go. He's, I'm just going to have to manage how active he is. You know, Just like today we went scouting. And he cannot jump in and out of my truck anymore. You know, So it's lift him in, lift him out. But now it is time. <laughs> oh, good boy. He's taking his. Yep, he's taking his medicine today. No, you gotta eat it, buddy. You gotta eat it. Good boy. Good. Good. Now, what are you giving him? This is the actual, like, um, anti inflammatory. So it's like a dog aspirin. Uh. So how many of these things does he take a day? He takes one of those. He takes two of the dark things. He takes this one twice a day. And this is the one that you can kind of adjust. Like if he were to go hunting, 
um, a specific day or whatnot, you can adjust it and maybe give him. So he said once this builds up in his system, you can kind of taper off of it. And uh, hopefully this will support him through. Uh, let's see what the, this is called. Ficox Soft Chews Canine Joint Supplement. That's a word. Oh. But that's a big old deal here. Oh yeah. Take one out. They're of huge. There. But this has all like the amino acids, and uh, it's more like of a natural type thing. Big so old they're dark huge. Chunks. Uh huh. He gets this one three times a day. Three. Oh, those are three times a day. But old Freddy, he's happy. Hi, buddy. Sit down. Sit. Good. Good. It's one of them things. Um. Like everything changes now, you know. I'm not, I will not be hard on him anymore whatsoever. I will not demand a bunch out of him. Um, a lot of things have changed now, a bunch. And um, he's only two years old. He's only two years old and he already has arthritis throughout his whole back end. So it's a genetic thing. Um, what do you do? You know, he had parvo when he was young and it makes me he said that had nothing to do with it, yeah. You know, so it's a, it's a very just genetic thing, I guess, and here we are. But um, I usually say I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys just enjoyed getting some information on Fred and just staying in touch with the situation. And uh, I wanna keep you guys informed because he's just as big of a part of this channel as I am, or as my kids are. Fred has taken over the channel the last couple years and. I never expected this, you know, never expected this at all. He can't jump on the tailgate anymore. I can't make him place on random objects like I always used to do. That's all over, you know, got to treat him like an old man now, even though he's two, but done blabbing. Um, just stay tuned. You know, we'll get through this together. We'll be hunting still. He'll have fun. He can still run and stuff. You can just tell right now it's uncomfortable for him. So hopefully, this joint supplement helps. So the treatment originally three to four weeks, it says, and then you can kind of start adjusting from there. So give them oh, three, three to four weeks. weeks. So, notice a difference. so a month. Try to notice the difference. See if the limping see goes away. Okay. Anything. All right. Well, hopefully with just treating it, Is that good? it gets better. 